What's up guys welcome back to yet another video. So OnePlus is rolling out a new update for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro which is a very minor update though the update size is quite large. So in this video let's talk about this new update for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So here you can see this is my OnePlus 9 on which I've already received the OTA update and the update size was approximate 400 MB. First let me show you the software information. Here you can see software version is 12. Security patch have been updated to 5th September 2021. And if you talk about the OS version, version is C.65. Previously C.63 was also a huge update which was approximate 700 MB and this update is also quite large. You can see the approximate file size is around 390 MB. And guys if you haven't received the OTA update, I'll try to provide the download links in the description below. Right now they are not available but soon they are available, I'll add the links. You just have to download the incremental file if you are running C.63 and after that you just have to go to settings, go to about section open version tap on build number seven times until you see you are a developer now once you have enabled developer option after that you just have to go to up to date section and from here tap these three dots select local upgrade and you'll be able to choose the file which you have placed inside the internal storage this way you can update your device to the latest build first talking about the benchmark results so i did test out using geekbench application here you can see these are without high performance mode wherein single core have scored 788 and multi core have scored 3200 142. With Antutu benchmark application, my OnePlus 9 have scored 6,62,582. Guys, before moving ahead, I would request everyone to kindly show some support, pause the video and read the content which is appearing on the screen. And I request everyone to retweet my tweet to support me and my family. One single retweet can make a huge difference. So it's a humble request. Do retweet my tweet and support TechEB family. And now if you talk about the change logs, so let me show you the change logs. OnePlus have only mentioned one change log which is layer to security patch update of September 2022. Nothing else with this 400 MB of OTA update. Though you might find this build better optimized but OnePlus haven't mentioned anything about this. And if you guys remember previously OnePlus did add few features like dual views video, film mode and in the change logs they also mentioned that they have added the text scanner which wasn't present on the C.63 build. I thought they would be adding in the upcoming build. So we have the C.65 build and still that feature is missing which was called text scanner. Those were the change logs directly picked up from Color OS because color OS do have this text scanner feature and many more features when it comes to camera segment and also after the last update many users reported issues in recording videos at 4k with 60 fps wherein their camera used to lag a little bit when they start recording videos so now let's check it out so here you can see personally i don't feel any kind of stutters while recording 4k at 60 fps this used to happen initially whenever they used to start recording the video but for me i'll again show you guys i'll close the camera application and relaunch it and now if i see i'll start the recording and okay so there are no lags to be seen or stutters while recording 4k at 60 fps so hopefully that thing have been taken care by oneplus but if you guys still face the issue do let me know in the comment section below i won't be doing a review of this particular build because i'll be coming up with the in-depth review of oxygen os 13 mostly tomorrow or day after and another issue which oneplus have fixed with this update that was related to pip mode for youtube application so here if i open up any video and guys if you want to check out the 5g availability we have made a dedicated video make sure to check out that video by which you will get a fair idea whether your device supports 5G or not. So talking about the PIP mode, right now you can see I did not find any kind of issues while turning on PIP mode. If I just use the recent page also once and then go to YouTube application, YouTube is being played. If I switch to PIP mode, it is way better compared to Oxygen OS 13 because on Oxygen OS 13 which I am testing, there we do have issues with the PIP mode. And guys in yesterday's video wherein I did show you guys how to check your device whether it supports 5G or not. In that video I was using my OnePlus 9 running Oxygen OS 13 wherein it was not required any kind of software update. But few users who were having OnePlus 9 Pro and were running Oxygen OS 12 they did mention that 5G is supported but they do require a software update. So here right now you can see we are running Oxygen OS 12.1 latest build C.65. If you guys update to the latest build which is C.65. I think you guys won't require any kind of further software updates to have proper 5G running. 
So here you can see 5G device it is supported and it doesn't even say whether the software update is required or not. But one issue if you notice here you can see the white bar do appears at the bottom of the screen. I think this will go away with a single reboot but this started to appear after updating to C.65. And also on previous build USB OTG wasn't working so let's test out on this build whether it works or not. So here I have a USB connector along with one pen drive connected. So let's check whether whether this thing works on my oneplus 9 or not because previously it wasn't working so what i'll do is i'll just open up file manager first and now i'll connect the usb cable so guys right now there are no issues connecting usb on this particular build so here you can see it do shows up my usb drive and guys there's nothing much to show in this particular video because oneplus did not mention much of change logs but whatever issues which i had faced on the previous build are almost fixed on this newer build but still if you guys face any kind of issues you guys can let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys are gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day